ain't prepared yet. You need to try and pick off the units as well. Look at the shields on the mark. Hello and welcome everyone, this is Gans Pajamas. And this is Pain User. And we are back for another Losers Round 2 match. Out of the IPL Season 2, we have Empire Nurcio spawning as our Blue Zerg player down here at the 6 o'clock position on Metalopolis. His opponent, cross positions, our Red Protoss player, is Complexity's Minigun, who, in Winners Round 2, came very, very close to knocking off our IPL Season 1 champion, Idra, and uh, now finds himself up against another very, very good Zerg player in Nurcio. Yeah, very impressive showing against Idra. Um... I actually thought he might take that series. Mm -hmm. Idra able to come back and uh, secure his spot in the winner's bracket. So yeah, Minigun knocked down. Going to have to play against Nurcio, who, like you said, is an amazing, amazing European Zerg player. And we are going to have a little ZVP action on Metalopolis. I think uh, with these positions, going to yield itself a little bit in Nurcio's favor. Um, anytime you get diagonal cross spawn on Metalopolis, I think it's just a great Zerg map in general no matter what the matchup. Uh, so easy for them to expand along that outer ring, relatively safe as well. Also, um, virtually any kind of attack via ground is gonna pass one of those two Zell Naga towers and it's very easy for Zerg yeah. to maintain control over those. Um, so they, they have a good warning system. Their expansions are all almost as far away as they could possibly be from you and uh, the map is just large in general, so. Uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult for a minigun here, but, I mean, that's not to say that, you know, Protoss can't get anything done on this map either. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is going to lend itself to pretty conventional macro play as well. Um, would expect nothing less than a three-gate expand out of minigun. And uh, looks like Nurcio actually dropped down a 14 pool, though, to start, going into relatively early gas as well. But this is not a fast as possible uh, Zergling speed build or anything along those lines. He is going to go pretty quickly over to that gas and going to save himself up for what? I'm not sure at the moment. I assume an expansion would come down here pretty soon. But uh, this could be... I don't know. He, it looks like he's setting up for possibly even early uh, Zergling and Queen before he decides to put down an expansion. Um, yeah, he is getting very early gas here. Probably going to get speed and then just cut gas and get that expand up a little bit late. Uh, he is getting a very early queen. We do have four Zerglings on the way. Oh, almost losing that. Whoa. Almo almost losing that scouting drone there. Sorry, I stumbled on my words a little bit as I watched that cybernetics core explode. Uh, missing that position, I think, maybe by one or two pixels. Uh, Minigun wants that single slot to be open so he can block that with a Zealot. Mm -hmm. uh, and doesn't, doesn't want a second slot open. Understandable. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it was a nice job there by Nurcio nonetheless to go ahead and disrupt the production of that cybernetic score for as long as he did. Just those little touches in the beginning of the game that do uh, help you out. Minigun did decide to get a second gas. Uh, at first, I couldn't tell if that was reactionary to the drone coming up and trying to steal that gas, or if this was going to be Minigun's intended plan. I would assume it would be his intended plan, though, as he is setting up for a pretty conventional three-gate expand behind sentries at the moment, though, and definitely needs that gas to get those sentries built. Yeah. Yeah, and even if it wasn't, um, just taking his gas and altering his plan a little bit was probably an intelligent move. Uh, you don't want Zerg to, you obviously don't want Zerg to steal that second gas. It just limits your tech options by a lot, especially in the early game. Uh, and we do have the second and third gates on the way now, so he will be going with a three gate expand. I don't know Ooh. why he used that force field right there. Um, missing just a little bit, kind of using the force field as a wall now, uh, slowly moving down towards his natural, going to get that pylon up and start working towards uh, some sort of a semblance of a wall. Uh, Nurcio, just being as annoying as possible, continues to move those lings around, continues to stay on top of things, and he is just knocking right on Minigun's doorstep. Yeah, absolutely. He's going to make his way back in. Uh, he won't be able to coax any other... So well, <laughs> Minigun certainly doesn't have enough uh, energy for another force field or anything along those lines, but he does have the second sentry out now. It'll start to put pressure on those Zerglings, and they'll have to run away, allowing Minigun to drop down his Nexus, and Nurcio coaxes another force field out of Minigun. Anything you can do to decrease the value of those sentries early on, limit the amount of force fields they'll have later on, is certainly valuable in uh, Nurcio. Just being so pesky, as you were talking about before. Yeah, definitely, and we do have quite a few lings in production now. Nurcio is going to go on the offensive here. We have 12 more in production. He already has a gang out on the field, and they're going to head straight towards the natural. 
Uh, he's going to be looking to surround here. Minigun with an okay position, but he doesn't have enough energy to continuously force field, and he only has four sentries out right now. I foresee him taking a lot of damage right here, and the Lings are coming directly in. They're not stopping for anything. Not going to be able to get a surround on the sentries, but they're going to be able to do so much damage. Great force fields coming out of Minigun right there. I thought he was just done for sure, and he might be able to hold this off. He might be able to hold this off, but they are going to do a lot of damage to the Nexus regardless here. Uh, it's already going to drop down all of its shields. Here we go. A couple of Zealots being warped in, and like you said, uh, Minigun doing as good as he can to go ahead and mitigate the damage that he's actually taking. Unfortunately, old Probu does fall, but Nurcio not going to get the cancel that he wanted, not going to get the run by into the main, not doing nearly as much damage uh, as he would have liked, especially because he was not constructing drones that entire time. Yeah, the thing about those force fields that was so impressive is that not only were they blocked the Zerglings from getting up the ramp. Oh, and there we go. A few more choice force fields blocking, you know, five, six more Lings in there. And that's exactly what I was going to say about the previous force fields is not only was he blocking the rest of the Zerglings out, but he was blocking a portion of the Zerglings in and allowing the sentries to continuously uh, work down those numbers. And just with a handful of sentries has thwarted all of this early aggression and I mean yeah he's been using force fields but we're still very early on in this game the sentries are gonna have more than enough time to recuperate all that energy and he's been getting quite a bit out of a very small amount of sentries and it looks like Nurcio may be gearing up for that very, very strong Roachling push that a lot of Zerks are favoring. And I have seen him played on this map quite a few times. Uh, he does have that third base in construction. It's about halfway done. He may even add a production hatch to that once he decides he has enough drones and just wants to go into full-on uh, Roachling production. And I'm curious to see how he follows this up because this could be extremely powerful. He's saving up uh, all of his resources at the moment, waiting for that layer to get done so we can tech and simultaneously put out as many units as possible. There we go. Our first round of nine roaches coming out now. This is going to be pretty strong, but Minigun has shown that he knows how to engage a uh, superior force coming at him. Yeah, Minigun just now getting blink, and he's also getting those additional weapons upgrades. So stalkers are going to be the answer to this eventual push from Nurcio. The thing that worries me though is that he hasn't really started production of the Stalkers yet. He only has one out on the field, I believe. So Blink is gonna be done well before those uh, Stalker numbers are significant enough to hold something like this off. One thing Nurcio's really been slacking on is his creep spread. He doesn't have very good creep spread at all. Usually he he's m much more on top of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we only have two tumors leaving the natural just now, so. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for him to to get that supply route headed towards Minigun's base with the added speed of the creep tumors to, to help resupply. But now we have Minigun actually moving out and, and heading towards the third a little bit here. I don't think he's going to press the issue, but he does have a little bit of map control and he's not just turtled up into the natural anymore. Yeah, and this is going to be seven gate with heavy upgrades here. So this is very, very aggressive uh, off of this two bases, off of the two bases that Minigun has established. He wants to move in and he wants to do significant economic damage and do it right Right now, before Nurcio is able to create that massive critical number of units that's going to be able to pressure his army back. But Minigun, here he comes. He's going to make his way up now. Uh, Nurcio, he can't engage us quite yet. Back. Looks Man. like he's going to try and go around for a flank. No, he is coming back. That crease red would have really helped him here, too, right. if he had been able to advance that past the third. I couldn't agree more, and Force Field's going down, going to block those roaches out, and it looks like Minigun has decided it is time to make his move, putting up a wall of Force Fields right there, using quite a few. I don't know if he wanted to burn all those just yet. He might need those in a second here. Uh, still, both players avoiding the, the major conflict, trying to push and pull, feel out when to make that engagement, and Minigun's going to make a move and tuck himself in on the right side here. Going to be able to use that very effectively. The Ling's not going to be able to get in there, but uh, he's not able to kill any of the roaches just yet. He's only using force fields. He's not killing the army. Right, and he is going to start denying this hatchery. We'll see if Nurcio wants to try and engage here. Oh, wow, he doesn't get that last shot off. That delays him a little bit, and I think as a result of that, he is going to... No. Very oh, risky man. for Minigun here. He's setting himself up. I mean, he's trapped. 
His entire army is trapped here. This is such a risky play. He's not going to be able to move out. And there we go. Nurcio moving in. Going to go ahead and start taking out those stalkers. He blinks into the corner, but he still really has nowhere to run. He's not going to be able to blink out of this, but the hatchery does go down. Yeah, and a couple of things here. Uh, Nurcio is actually expanding to the gold at the same time, which I don't know if that's been picked up on yet on minigun. Uh, but, uh, but we just have this positioning back and forth of these units. There we go. Nurcio finally going to move out. Not a ton of energy left on any of these sentries, so a few of those critical sentries, those very expensive sentries, could fall, and it looks like Ooh. that's what the roaches are doing. They're going right after all of those sentries. Just a bunch of blink stalkers left. Minigun has decent blink micro there, and he is doing a lot of damage, but now Nurcio is going to be able to reinforce with a lot of units, knowing that those force fields aren't really going to be an issue anymore. Yeah, but Minigun getting so much out of his oh, army yeah. right there. That was very impressive. Um, one thing I think that would have worked wonders right there for Nurcio would have been Hydras, but I mean, obviously it's very difficult to just randomly working Hydras into your tech path when you're trying to hold off a 7 gate. Um, but they would have done a great job in the back Ooh. right there while those units were tucked away. Uh, Minigun just really stiff arming his way across the map right now and he's going to be able to force field a few more of those lings and a queen on this side of the ramp or oh, his wow. side of the ramp rather and yeah minigun just continuing to pick off more and more units while adding to his ball and he hasn't really lost anything substantial in terms of units except for sentries and he's going to push the natural now absolutely and because nurcio has chosen to go just pure roach these blink stalkers are going to be oh so effective look at them just each one of them moving back and unless nurcio decides to pick off any one to give uh, a one at once starts target firing them down uh, Minigun's just going to be able to do all the damage in the world he wants. He's now up by 30 supply he's picking off overlords. All these overlords were being rallied in. That's unfortunate as now Nurcio is supply blocked. He's got to rally in with the rest of his units but those alone aren't going to be enough. Minigun just has way too powerful of a force here. Yeah, Nurcio trying everything he possibly can. He's reinforcing and he's, he's, you know, he's throwing wave after wave at Minigun's army, but Minigun just continuing to take those small incremental supply leads and blinking away from the drones right there. Doesn't want to get surrounded. The drones are off the line, so he is not mining. Minigun just continuing to pull back very intelligently. Doesn't want to lose all these stalkers. Absolutely not, but Minigun has now uh, sent Nurcio down to relatively low production. All these drones were pulled off the line for so long. That's pretty critical economic damage being done. He has established his third base, finally clearing that Overlord off of there. So Minigun still looks to be in a brilliant spot. All the rest of these drones are being pulled once again. I don't think that that alone is going to be enough. Oh, they're all just falling. Now down to just 40 drones to the 76 uh, probes of Minigun. Minigun going to crash through the rest of this force. Yeah, Minigun doing a great job, and like I said earlier, just maintaining that ball, continuing to take small supply advantages, picking off the army of Nurcio, going to get the gold here, and that is going to spell Doom, and GG is called, Nurcio left the game. Doom! Doom, I tell you. Nurcio does leave the game, so once again... For two sets in a row, Minigun finds himself up 1-0 uh, up one -oh over a very strong Zerg opponent, and uh, that game very well played, and, I, and I'm a little bit surprised at the outcome of that as well, uh, because Nurcio initially had very strong numbers whenever the Blink Stalkers and just a handful of sentries were coming back here along the right, trapping themselves at the back here, not really doing all that mm -hmm. much damage. The Stalkers weren't able to move up and engage yeah. against the hatchery because they would have exposed themselves around the I back to Zerglings, so... I wonder if, you know, watching this replay and I wonder just from my lofty um, spectator chair sure. if the proper response right there could have been um, to pull maybe half of the drones at the natural all of the drones he had there at the third all the roaches all the links his queens and then just absolutely overwhelmed him in that corner right there while he was trapped I mean he did have force fields it would have taken a while to, to kill them sure. all, but I think if you brought all of those things together and make, made one uh, concerted effort to just take that ball out, because uh, letting them stay there and pick off roaches, pick off wings as they tried to resupply, pick off drones here and there, picked off the hatchery, um, all those things added up in, in Minigun's favor, and I think that's ultimately what allowed him to win the game right there, was killing that third and just picking off so many reinforcement units. Yeah, absolutely, and those Zergling numbers always seem very, very low for Nurcio as well. Mm -hmm. Huge reliance on Roaches there against those Blink Stalkers. But uh, nonetheless, guys, that does mean Minigun takes game number one of this best of three. We're going to head into game number two right now.